teams have arrived in Japan and final preparations are in place for the start of the 2014 Pepsi ICC EAP Women's Trophy that gets underway in Sano tomorrow. The tournament forms the beginning of the pathway to the ICC Women's World 2020 India 2016, with the winner of this event booking a place at next year's ICC Women's World 2020 qualifier. Japan, Papua New Guinea, Samoa, Vanuatu and the Cook Islands will battle it out for the single qualification spot available at next year's qualifier, while Cricket Without Borders will also take part in this event as an invitational team. Having won the previous two EAP Women's Trophies, Japan entered the event full of confidence that they can claim their third straight title on home soil. Uh, we had a practice match against Hong Kong Cricket Club uh, two weeks ago and uh, we had uh, five matches and uh, we won all games. We believe 100% we will win this tournament. Twice PNG have fallen at the final hurdle in this event, losing both the 2010 and 2012 finals to Japan. However, they believe they have the strike power with both bat and ball to get the business done in 2014. Our preparation is very good. Uh, we are all trying our best to, to become the best EAP champions. Samoa has some genuine talent in their team that are not shy on the big stage. They'll be hoping that this experience can see them improve on their third place in 2012. Well, we're fitter, as I, uh, as I mentioned earlier, um, and I think the girls have been working a lot on their batting techniques. Um, the girls in Samoa are looking really, really good. I'm really impressed with how they're coming along. Um, looking really strong, solid in bowling and batting, yeah. Regarded as one of the biggest improvers in women's cricket in the EAP region, Vanuatu are looking forward to testing how far they have come in the last two years. Uh, bowling, our bowling, yeah, we have we have uh, improved a lot, and now we have spinners, uh, medium pace, and fast bowlers, and um, our batting, yeah. Now we we'll learn to play straight, <laughs> and our, field, our fielding, yeah, I think our fielding is best. The Cook Islands won the hearts of the Vanuatu public in 2012 through their passion and enthusiasm for the game. Now, two years on, they are focused on improving their cricket whilst continuing to entertain crowds. Coming to the 2020 games, we're here to um, um, care about succeeding and um, performing, performing to the best of our ability and uh, also um, inspiring our younger players to take up cricket back home. Cricket Without Borders are an organisation that aims to promote and develop the game of cricket for young women in the spirit of sportsmanship, cultural diversity and fun. So participating in this event in Japan as an invitational side was a perfect fit. Yeah, it's really about promoting the game for women um, and the opportunity to come, Jap come to Japan is just really exciting for all of us, so yeah, it's really good. Cricket is a growing sport in Japan and the opportunity to host an event of this size provides the Japan Cricket Association with a tool to leave a lasting legacy on the game in their country. Yeah, to start with, I think um, it'll leave a big les legacy to Sano as a city. Um, Sano's embraced cricket as a city of cricket. Um, the mayor has declared Sano to be a sports city and in, in the centre of that is cricket. Um, so hopefully through this tournament we can get more people down to the ground and understand what the cricket is all about. Um, also on a national scale we'll have some national media down uh, covering us for the first time so um, that's exciting to be able to get that word across to the rest of the nation. The round robin matches of the tournament begin tomorrow. The top team after the round robin automatically qualifies for the final. The second and third teams will then play off on Saturday for the right to join the top side in the final on Sunday.